do what a lot of people came here to see first. We're going to do our forward reviews. Oh, shit. (laughs) I've been prepping his forward review um, for, what what did you say, 20 years? Yeah. And um, I've got mine. Do you want me to do mine first, Paul? Yes. Yes, I do. It's pretty easy. That's not the... (laughs) My forward review is... Duh. Good start, bad finish. Done. It's simple. Cool. Good start, bad finish. No. Yeah, bad finish. That's my forward review. If you have a forward review, as I buy Paul some time, yep. comment below. And yep. um, let us know, if you, have you listened to this album? If you could tell us in four words what you think of this album, oh, please do. Yes. And let us know. Um, can you go into the past and tell us? So the poll can use it. <laughs> have, you, have you got your forward review? Poll? Here's the edited poll. No. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to go with. Um, fuck. He's doing math again. I can give you an extra word. You want a the or something? Yeah. Yeah. All right, you can have a the. Uh, uh? Uh? Make me a punk fan. Make me a punk fan. That's Make awesome. Make me a punk fan. Um, I think this is. This is a great introduction to, if you've not listened, and this is how I came into the album, and mm. potentially one of the reasons that I probably rate it higher than other people. Yeah. Some people might give it a seven, I'll give it an eight, or whatever. Yeah. Um, is that it was, I didn't listen to punk music at the time. Like, I was slowly getting into heavier rocker, yep. rocky bands. but not, Some of the not ones we talked about punk. previously. Yeah. Queens of Stone Age. Yeah. yeah. So that was probably a year before I, I started getting into like Queens and Fooies and that sort of thing. Yeah. When I listened to Modern Artillery, Silver Chair had started to get into, but again, the entry point was Diorama, not yeah. um, Frog Stomp. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Which is a very different sounding Silver Chair at that point. Very, very different sounding Silver Chair, but it introduced me to that. And I think that's the same thing. I was able to l- go from listening to whatever was being on, played on the radio in yeah. 2002. Yeah. To listening to The Living End in 2003 without being too shocked by it, yep. but being shocked enough, I was excited. Yeah. Um, and that was great. And it gave me some, you know, you hey, you've listened to Zeppelin 4. Here's a longer song. <laughs> it's called The Room. The room. Um, here's some, you know. It's about the film. It's not yeah. about the film. <laughs> Oh, hi, Mark. Um, but, you know, there was... There was bits in there that I could go, oh, I like that and that, you know, normal pop song that was number one for a week and a half. Yeah. I can pull that out and go, oh, I understand that and I know that and I like that. Yeah. Um, but then I was also like, one said to the other, what's happened here? Yeah, yeah, and The yeah. song just started and it's dumb, but I feel great. Yeah. And, oh, let's get it around it. So, um, yeah, make me a funk, punk fan. That's awesome. Yeah. Or like how to make a punk, how to make, how to make a punk Make a punk fan. Make a punk fan. Make a punk fan. <laughs> we got there in the end. Punk fans can't count. That's punk. Yeah, yeah. Reviews. We're not restricted. No, we are. <laughs>